biological scientists. Biological scientists help us solve some of today's most critical problems. Microbiologists study organisms, called microbes, that can usually be seen only under a microscope. Biochemists study the chemical parts of living matter and the changes that occur in the cells and tissues of humans, animals, and plants. My job duties primarily are to use um, biochemical methods to understand the chemistry and biology of uh, things like proteins and um, using the various lab equipment we have we can understand um, things about those proteins to allow us to um, learn more about how they function in, in real cells. Most often these specialists work in offices or laboratories as part of a team of professionals doing research and development. Science really needs to be done in a, in a team type of environment. So we have a lot of different people that I interact with on a daily basis and that's fun. There's a wide range of job possibilities in both basic research, which is theory, and applied research, which tests the theory. Studying products that can improve our health, for instance, is a rewarding aspect of this type of work. I like the fact that I'm doing a job that helps people. I like the job I'm doing because it's not so complicated that it's something that's going to be tedious on my brain all the time, but it's complicated enough that it keeps me motivated and wanting to be here every day. Microscopes, centrifuges, and computers are some of the types of equipment used to conduct these research projects. We're filtering 100 mils of this water and then we'll plate it out on the nutrient auger. Microbiologists may perform experiments on how bacteria infect humans, animals, and plants as well as reproduce and cause disease. Bacteria are always changing, so you have a lot more influence on the result as a microbiologist with experience with bacteria than an automated piece of equipment can because of their huge amount of variability with bacteria. So I really like that. I feel like I'm involved with my answers rather than machinery. Some biochemists study digestion and growth, as well as the causes of aging and death. Learning new things about vitamins, allergens, and minerals, or advising cities on how to purify the water supply or treat sewage are other areas of their work. The results of their studies are used in very practical ways in the fields of medicine, agriculture, food science, and industry. A lot of it is lab work for the most part, but you, it could be environmental, you could be doing environmental sampling and all the way up to you know, something really research oriented, Center for Disease Control or something like that, so it's, it's, it's pretty broad. Imagination and logical thinking, as well as a strong sense of curiosity, help the biological scientists to be successful. Being patient, persistent, working well with others, and paying attention to detail are also necessary. It's really exciting when you spend uh, weeks and months on a problem and it all comes together and you have a, a satisfying result. Since some of the materials they handle may be hazardous, it is important to learn and follow safety guidelines. Most of the work is performed in offices or laboratories during regular hours. However, special projects can require long hours, either in the lab or on extended field trips. Prospective biological scientists need a strong background in chemistry, physics, biology, and mathematics. Participating in science fairs or working part-time at a research lab is helpful in getting some practical experience. My senior year of high school, I was able to work half a day as a cooperative education student in a local hospital lab, getting some practical experience so that when I went to college, I had a better idea uh, of what I'd like to do. Good computer and communication skills are also necessary. And a foreign language can be extremely helpful as scientists exchange information with people all over the world. There will be many opportunities in this exciting field for those who like to discover new things and turn these discoveries into practical solutions to real world problems. I think science in general and, and what I do allows for uh, continuous learning. Uh, every day is a new question and and a new mystery. Um, there's a lot of detective work involved in uh, trying to answer and test hypotheses. It's particularly exciting when it's something that nobody has ever um, 
either posed a particular question to or you're the first one to figure out an answer to something. Typical job duties might include performing experiments on how bacteria infect humans, animals, and plants, as well as how they reproduce and cause disease. Studying how digestion and growth work and what causes aging and death. Learning new things about vitamins, allergens, and minerals, or advising on how to purify water and treat sewage. The education required is a bachelor's degree in biology, chemistry, and or microbiology. This prepares students for technical, research, and clinical jobs. However, a master's degree opens the door to more career choices as a research manager, teacher, or in sales. A PhD is almost always required to do independent research or to have a top-level job in government or industry. Earnings can vary widely. Starting salaries for those with a bachelor's degree range between $18,000 and $30,000 a year. Those with a master's degree earn between $25,000 and $80,000. And those with a Ph.D. earn from $35,000 to $100,000 or more per year. Salaries also depend on whether the work is in education, industry, or the government. The job outlook is excellent, especially with all of the new discoveries being made in the health services and agricultural industries. For more information, write to the American Society of Biological Chemists, 9650 Rockville Pike, Bethesda, Maryland, 20014, or email the American Society of Microbiology at webmaster at asmusa.org.